Hey to you. I want to welcome you to another episode of How I Animate in Clip Studio Paint. Okay, so today's video will be centered around one question, and that is, do you have to animate a full body walking cycle? Before we get straight into this, I want you to comment below and tell me what you think the answer to this question is. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get straight into it. So for me, the short answer to this question is no. You do not have to. But if you want a dynamic scene, then you probably should. Let me give you some examples. We're used to seeing these types of walking cycles. And with these types of walking cycles, you don't usually see the full body. But in the animations that have a more dynamic scene when it comes to these walking cycles, they draw a full body walking cycle and then use camera movement to make the difference. If you see, this starts from the feet and the legs and then it goes up to the face. And that type of animation actually adds dynamics, actually adds more scenes, and that all that work that you put in to create that full body animation cycle pays off by getting more, um, more cover for your animations. Now, let me show you exactly what's going on in these types of animations. If we bring this up, you see that we have just a regular animation, just a regular running animation, right? And this is full body. And with the full body one, I can take two to three different scenes. I can take a full body one, I can take the feet one, as you see here, and then I can take the one that's straight from the shoulders and do that. And then I can always throw a different background in the back. But when it comes to trying to take shortcuts, that's when the idea of not drawing a full body walking cycle actually can help you. If you want to be quick, short, and you don't want to put in the work, then there is a shortcut. And that's just doing something like this example. In this example, as you see, there's nothing going on really in this animation. It's just motion tweening. I'm just lifting him up, dropping him down, lifting him up, up, dropping him down. And this type of animation, it only took me three frames to do, and I'm just moving them up and down, up and down in this, in this example. So to add a little bit more dynamic to it, I can bring this back and drop in a background. This background is, you know, it's not amazing, but if I use motion tweening with the background, now the background is moving, the person is moving, is giving a sense of walking somewhere. And that is like the types of shortcuts that you can use. So to sum it all up, should you do an animation walking cycle and make it a full body one? I think so. If you wanna get more out of your shot, but if you do not want to, you do not have to. You just use camera movement some motion tweens and you'll still get a decent scene out of that i can't wait to see your comments below so i'll check them out after this video don't forget to hit the like button and as always anime life forever until my mom